We're now working on the 1941 Roland tube type amplifier. I'm trying to see if I can get rid of uh, that noise completely. I don't know if you can really hear it. It's very intermittent. But I, I took all the, in, all the uh, pre-amplifier and intermediate amplifier tubes out and just left the 6F6 in there. And I even tried putting in a new tube and that's a 6V6 and that didn't make a difference so it's not in the preliminary stages and I also uh, disconnected everything in that circuit and hooked up a 6V6 sitting in this ashtray to make sure there wasn't arcing in the socket and we still got the noise so what I'm going to try to do is to power the 6F6 circuit off of an external power supply thereby removing a uh, possibility of maybe some noise from the mercury vapor rectifier or I'm not not sure, maybe noise within the resistor that feeds the 6F6 circuit. So I've got 317 volts at the plate of the 6F6. So I'm going to disconnect the 6F6 uh, plate transformer, the interstage transformer, from the mercury vapor rectifier supply. We're going to hook it up to the external power supply and then supply it with 315 volts and see if there's still any evidence of noise. Now I've got the external supply hooked up. I've got, or it's, it's warming up now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. About 316 volts. You notice that the noise is appearing. The only thing in the circuit, the uh, filter capacitor, the new capacitor I put in, is still in the circuit. So that's the only thing except the transformer that's in the plate circuit. When we took the 6V6 or the 6F6 tube out of the circuit and hooked it up externally, I put in all new resistors in the circuit, and that didn't seem to make a difference. So it seems like, unfortunately, there may be something going on in this transformer that's producing noise. I'm not sure what that could be, if there's some kind of arcing or what. Because when I turn off this power supply and the 6F6 plate voltage is withdrawn, the noise disappears. So I'll turn it back on here. and the noise has reappeared. So I'm not sure what to best do about this. It may just be something you have to live with, but I'd sure would like to completely eliminate the noise if at all possible. And we've eliminated the possibility of the noise being in any of the input stages because the intermediate stage amplifier tubes have been removed. It's not awful, but we just strive for perfection here to try to get these things working the best they can. I sure would like to completely get rid of that noise. So I've tried just about everything except for actually replacing this transformer. I did a little more experimenting on this and I found that if the voltage is reduced, the noise goes away and it still has good sound. But I don't, I'm not going to rely on this as a solution of the problem. I think I can get a Hammond transformer to replace this so I'm really going to try to replace it because if there's arcing or something in there it could lead to more trouble if it's just sort of left alone. So you'll notice now that the 6F6 plate voltage is 144 volts and there's no noise. But watch what happens when I increase the voltage. Let me increase it here. I'm going to go up to we'll go up to the rated plate voltage on it. I don't know if you can hear it, but I, I can hear it. The only thing I can think of is there's some kind of insulation breakdown 
or some maybe there's a bad connection between the transformer magnet wire and the connecting lead that under high voltages the trouble is appearing but then when I back it I back it off yeah you can hear it's it's arc or there's noise there I'm gonna back the voltage back down to yeah, let's see we'll do one about 115 there's a very very slight amount of noise and even at that low voltage it still works good but now that looking at the World Wide Web, we found an actual replacement transformer. I think we'll just replace it. I went and bought myself a ticket and I sat down in the very first row. They pulled the curtain, but then when they turned the spotlight way down low. Then of Egypt came I struck and there ain't nothing but so now what I'm going to do is to measure the DC resistance of the interstage transformer and see if it matches up with what I found on the Hammond units. Here's a universal interstage transformer which I think I might get to replace the one in there. It looks like this probably can do the job from uh, Triode Electronics. I can't think of any other reason for that noise. I've removed just about everything else from the circuit. So just to make sure, I think we'll go ahead and, and get a new one. Make sure that there's no noise in that circuit. Or no possibility of further trouble, such as the arcing getting worse. Here's a mock-up circuit with the suspect bad transformer to see if I can simulate the noise condition outside of the amp. I've got a 6F6 tube, or a 6V6 tube, hooked up in exactly the same circuit as it would be in the amp. We're using a 1500 ohm cathode resistor and 270 ohm grid resistor. And we're supplying power from the Heathkit power supply. To pick up the output, we've got a realistic amplifier hooked up to the secondary terminals of the transformer. Let me turn the volume up here. You can hear that noise is being generated by the transformer. Let me turn the volume down, turn the voltage down rather, and we'll see if that changes it like it does in the actual amp. Seems like it did. I turned down the voltage and the hum went away, or the noise went away. But then when I give it some more, the noise comes back. So I can say with pretty good certainty that that transformer is causing noise. I've got the input of the 6V6 tube hooked up to the CD player. Let's see if we can run some audio through it. And it's working good as an amplifier, but there's still that that noise. So that pretty much tells me that that's my problem there. Also supplying 6.3 volt filament voltage to the 6V6 tube from the Heathkit power supply. So I'm going to order in that new interstage transformer, and that ought to solve the noise problem. There's that nasty noise again. And there's no way that you could say it's in a tube socket or anything because the just use alligator clips right to the tube. That's a pretty conclusive proof that that transformer is bad.